everyone, I'm back with another memory plan with me. But this time, I'm gonna be doing one of those plan as I go styles because I just think that it would be more realistic that way. Like, I want to actually document what, well, at least try to document what has actually happened in a day. Because I think it would also be, you know, speeding up my editing process more if I did it that way. At least I could be more specific of the things that have actually happened on a particular day as opposed to doing the full-on spread later on trying to work on the voiceover. So I'm just going to give that a try and see if it does what I think it would do. For this week's spread, I'll be using this kit by Grey Wolf Prints. This is the Rise and Shine kit. I'll also be using, again, my foil overlays just to make it more sparkly darkly. <laughs> sparkly darkly. <laughs> just to give it a bit of a pop, um, you know, just to elevate the kit a bit more. Um, but I'll be using these ones, you know, towards the end of the spread as I don't want to blind you during the entire process. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to fill in my, did it come with date covers? Yeah. All right. I'll be filling on my date covers and my bottom washi and I'll be right back. All right. So I've done my date covers and my bottom washi. I also decided to put some glitter headers at the top of these date covers. So, because I just noticed that the whiteout was peeking through and it didn't like it. <laughs> so today is the 26th of July. Just double checking my dates. Okay, so with this kit, I think I'm going to be, or with this week, I think I'm going to go for a structured design this time, like a, a more structured spread because um, this week is kind of predictable for me in terms of my to-dos because I would hardly be spending time at the office given that my daughter just underwent her second hand surgery last Friday. And yeah, so most of the time we're going to be spending time at home and Matt's going to be taking care of posting out orders. Right, so we'll do this. Okay, now top three to-dos. So top three to-dos. I need to edit some videos that I've been working on. Check in with team. And I also need to change my nail polish because they're yucky. Like, I am so bad with doing my own nail polish. That's why I rely on stick-on nails. But given the current circumstances, like, I can't afford to poke my daughter in places that she, you know, like, she's got a skin graft. She has her arm on a cast. And, yeah, I just want to be as careful as I possibly can. So I'm just going to change my nail polish later and then i'm gonna put a bowl sticker box what do i put this one And then I'm going to be doing some journaling tonight. I 
actually no. Mm, I think I have more tasks to do today. Yeah, I do. So I'm gonna put this on first. It's fine, it's a bit crooked, but that's fine. So I'm gonna be putting a full box down here for journaling. And I'm probably just going to put this down here. So today will be laundry and clean toilet. Okay, so that's it for Monday. And then I'm gonna be journaling on this full box tonight. And I'll come back tomorrow to fill Tuesday. So today is the 27th of July. I actually forgot to do my sidebar yesterday when I was setting everything up. So I'm just gonna do that quickly. <laughs> So on to today. So far, I think I've done heaps today, which is great. So far, I have done, um, what have I done? So I baked cookies with my son Taj. I, I folded some clothes, warm case. So I had to inform my daughter's school about her attendance. So I've asked her school to give her more time to stay at home. So she's officially going back to school again next week on Monday. Also, I just heard on the news that the lockdown in Melbourne has been lifted, which is great. Well, lockdown in the whole of Victoria. But of course, there are still some restrictions in place, but at least students are going to be back in school so I'm just gonna mark that down glitter header right here um, what else I know I still have one task to do today I think it is a bill due yep it is my after pay 74 and that's due on Friday but yeah we'll just put that there because I might settle it either tomorrow or on Thursday or maybe tonight so I'm just gonna leave that for now and then of course I'd I'm gonna to my journaling box right down here. Are you gonna fit? Oh no. That's fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Doesn't bother me at all. Um, also, I'm going to add some more on my sidebar. So now that restrictions have eased, that means my daughter is going to go ahead with her appointment, her pre-op 
appointment on Friday. Sorry, not pre-op, post-op. And then what else? Wednesday is midnight. Um, no other plans this week. Mm, what else can I put under there? All right, I guess that's it for now, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. It is 7.29 a.m. on a Wednesday. We're right on track. I'm not going to do sort of the end of day thingy today where I write what happened. Today I'm just going to write what's going to happen because it's going to be a bit of a full-on day. Just a tiny bit though. I have a bunch of orders that I need to post today. <music> rubbish day. I need to get petrol. Kids are still asleep. I'm gonna have to wake them up right after this. guys tomorrow to fill in another day all right good morning today is the 29th of july my son's awake and sorry if you can hear him in the background let's move on to thursday so my top three tasks would be laundry Clean the fridge. I need to. I promised Kayla that we would be playing with makeup today because <laughs> she's getting bored. So, okay. And then for work, I have something to do social calendars. and um, video topics research because I want to sort of change the direction of this channel but th nothing's gonna change anytime soon like we'll be sticking with the standard maybe up until next year because we have a busy next few months ahead. Go and then journaling bit. So uh, that's that for today. So I'll be back tomorrow to fill in another day. Hi guys, so today is the 30th. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do all days from Friday to Sunday. Just so I just finish this entire thing now. Um, but Saturday and Sunday are basically days where I just wing things in terms of what I do. For today, I need do some things obviously like so Friday my son goes to child care drop off and pick up and then I need to go to the office to 
post orders, IGA run, I also need to call our mechanic. Oh, yes, there's another appointment. So Kayla has a doctor's appointment at, what time is that? 1.30. Get my header over here just to separate that. Then I'm going to use this girl. And then journaling bit. It's going to be right here. Obviously, a full box isn't going to fit here anymore, but that's fine. All right, now for Saturday and Sunday. We try to make it a bit more special because <laughs> we don't do really, we try not to do a lot because we need time to relax too, but it's not like, it's not like on the weekend, like we stop working. Like, I don't think mom's ever stopped working. <laughs> Okay, so I have two quarter boxes here, which is absolutely perfect. I'm going to put two icons right over here. And then... boxes for journaling. So my sidebar is still looking kind of glum, but really I don't, I don't have much to add, but I don't know. Let's just do this, okay, and then let's do this. Who knows, something might still come up, and I need to mark that down. Who knows? Yeah, I think that's fine. No, so that's that. Oh, and I said I was going to, I was going to use these ones. So I'm just going to take photos of this first for <laughs> the YouTube thumbnail. I'll be right back. Isn't that pretty? Right? Love it. All right, so thank you so much for joining me on this journey, I must say. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.